And this is Mark Lazell and you're watching Sport and Acons. All right, Andy, good to meet you. Hello, mate, Not too bad. But so uh, we're here at the uh, Job's Gym in Benwell. And uh, how long have you been boxing? Well, I boxed, started boxing when I was eight year old, till I was about 14. Yeah. And I had 10 years out, and I've been back for about three, three and a half years now. Yeah. And uh, making your professional debut soon? Yeah. December the 9th? Can't wait. Yeah? Mm. So why uh, boxing then? Um, I got into the very young with all my brothers. I was coming from a boxing background with three brothers, so it was a four wheel box all at one point. Um, I just love it, I always watched it when I was a kid with my brothers. Love Rocky as everyone does. Yeah. Um, I just loved it. Disappointing that I was away from it for 10 years, to be honest. Right. Um, and come back and loved it ever since. So, why did you go away from it for like 10 years? Did you fall out of love with it? And fall out of love with it a bit. Um, I think a little bit, bit of pressure from my brothers a bit when I was younger to go. And All right. wasn't really me off my own back, as this time it is. Right, okay. Okay, so now you're motivated for it then? Yeah. Nice. So what weight are you looking at? Light heavyweight. Light heavyweight? That's good, because uh, there's a couple up here, and they're like uh, Lawrence Osawecki and... Yeah. Have you had sparred any of these lads yet? I've sparred a few um, in the past. Um, a few of the lads around to have been around a different gym sparring. Because they're an unlicensed team for a bit first as well. Okay, how was that? It was good, I to be fair. Quite easy to be honest. Yeah. As soon as I stepped up that much, I was a total different kettle of fish. <laughs> okay. Okay. So why your decision to turn pro then? Um, my age, 26 now. So I think it's probably the best time to go for it. I was going to have one more season in the uh, amateurs for yeah. learning, but with the COVID and all the rest of it, like, I just thought it's time. Okay. So what is your amateur background then? Um, I had, I think it was about 12 junior, and then I, had, I think I only had had four, four uh, senior amateurs. Yeah. Um, my last fight was the Northern Area title one. Okay. And how did you get them with that one? Come, come away with the win. It was a tough fight with the lad. We were supposed to be having a um, rematch, but due to injuries and then the COVID, it yeah. happened. So. Uh, fair enough. So, what kind of condition are you in now? Do you think that you'll be ready for? Uh... Um, just got a few. I think I've got four or five key to get off. Okay. So it's just picking up the training until, until fight day. Nice. So what's about boxing that you like then? Uh, it's a gentleman's sport. Yeah. I love it. To be honest, everyone you can get along with. Even you, you, when you're in there, you just hate each other. But as soon as that <laughs> bell's done and the, the fight is finished. He's the best mates most of the time. All right. And and uh, what's it mean to you to be representing the North East? Yeah, a little bit to be honest, like no better place is there. Centre of the universe. Certainly is. <laughs> okay, so who's your inspirations in boxing? Um, from back in the day, Ali, I like being on the, on the tour was actually boxing. I do like the, f the fighting side of it as well, but I like the actual boxing sport of it. Right. Not like the technique and stuff, not just going in there to fight, because most people can fight, but not a lot of people can box. So is that your discipline then? Is that your, um, you're a boxer before a brawler? Yeah, if it comes down to it, you know, it gets nitty and gritty and it's, it's tough. I think both of you are good boxers, then sometimes you might have to have a fight. Yeah. You break them down, rough them up, but I prefer to box. Yeah. Is it in you to want to have a brawl though? Maybe sometimes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fair enough, fair enough. So you're looking at um, December the 9th. All right, um, so it ain't not, it's what, three months away, really? Three months, fine. It's not long, is it? No. It's when you start like a proper camp. Um, well, I've sort of started deeply in myself, like no drink, trying to stay away from takeaways, but <laughs> a girlfriend wants one once in a while. Yeah, of course. But, um, I'm, I've been teetotal now off the drink and even if a couple going up, I just stick in bottles of water. Don't yeah. like having a can of uh, lemon fanta as I say when you go out because of sugar, isn't it? <laughs> oh, fair enough. 
but I've been going like harder now, trying to get my weight down and um, dieting properly. Because it's a three month away, you need to start picking up to get the weight down. Definitely. Anything that'll sharpen up in the last next couple of months. Yeah. So, if, as a, what kind of sparring have you had then? Um, we've had Scottish lads come down. Okay. Um, lads come from like Nick gets his gym and stuff. Yeah. There's um, the tyres, tyres, the brothers, the tyres, they come down, good sparring. A couple have been cancelled through COVID, but and there's a few lads in the gym, there's a few amateurs that are tough lads, young, tough lads, to be fair, wants to watch out for soon. Really? And they come through, why? Okay, nice. nice. And uh, did you watch the Olympics? I watched bits and bobs, to be fair, busy working, so it was hard to, hard to catch them, but mm. watch bits and bobs of it. You played at the pack got the silver though. Yeah. It was good like. It was unfortunately didn't get the gold but done good for us, didn't he? Certainly did, certainly did. So the uh, North East is uh, very important for you, as it seems to be for everyone up here. Um, uh, there does seem to be like a lot of uh, camaraderie. It doesn't really matter what gym you're at, um, whether you're here, whether you're at Wall's End, whether you're at Vision or wherever it may be, um, there doesn't seem to be any kind of rivalry. No, no. I think a lot of people, a lot of the gyms and everyone knows each other from different points in their life as well. Yeah. Nice. Everyone knows like when they've changed, they maybe knew each other years ago and they've all changed and moved to different places. So yeah. everyone knows each other from a lot of years ago. So how is it then if, uh, for example, obviously you'd be taking that step by step, but uh, an area title comes up for light heavyweight, it could be someone that you get on very well with. Yeah, that's like what I said earlier, like, you can be in, the, in that ring and you hate each other, but afterwards you're the best pals. It's yeah. one of them things, that's why it's a gentleman's sport, and, well, most times it's a gentleman's sport and everyone knows each other and gets along, but if you've both got to get in there, it's one of them things, isn't it? Competition, isn't it? Well, Andy, I appreciate your time. Thank you.